Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy... It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial capital. There is something I must do there. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Stop right there! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play at school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Wait, what's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial. There is something I must do there. Thank you, my teacher. Father? Forgive me for asking this of you. I know how much pain you're in, how the burden of the throne weighs heavily on you, and so... There is no need to apologize, Edelgard. You must know <laughs> that I do not have much time left in this world. The time has come. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now. To complete the Imperial succession, you must relinquish your crown here in the throne room. The Archbishop of the Church of Saros would normally act as witness, but my professor will fill that role instead. Edelgard. 
From this day forward, the weight of the Empire's future shall rest upon my shoulders. All that I do will be for the benefit of the people of Fodlan. Edelgard von Hesfeld, the crown is yours. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword, and by the double-headed eagle upon your head, I hereby pronounce you the new emperor. Are you prepared to take those responsibilities as your own? In accordance with the ancient covenant, and in keeping with the Hrasfeld legacy, I swear that upon this throne, I shall use my reign to lead Fodlan to a new dawn and achieve peace for all. The Imperial succession is complete. <laughs> when you were stolen away to the kingdom, when the Prime Minister did those horrible things, I could only... I... I understand, Father. In those dark times, your eyes and your fists were my salvation. Within your eyes, I saw true care, and upon your fists, clenched tight with indignity, I saw the blood that dripped and fell. Even as I bled, I felt that you too must also be bleeding. Your Majesty, you must not leave your sleeping chambers in your condition. Ah, Edelgard. I did not expect to find your highness here. Prime Minister, you have misspoken. I am no longer your highness, but rather, your majesty. I impossible! It is true. Edelgard is the new emperor of the Atrestian Empire. We will summon the officials <coughs> and prepare an ordinance at once. Are dismissed. It will be some time before you are allowed to make contact with the outside world again. No! How can this be? Edelgard, my dear El, I leave the fate of Fodlin <coughs> in your capable hands. Father, thank you for staying by my side, Professor. Now that I'm the Emperor, it's time to grasp my destiny. After the ceremony at the Holy Tomb, I must return to Enbar. This may be the last we see of each other. We are out of time, my teacher. Everyone is waiting for us. We must go. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions... This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you... So long. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. Stop right there! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait! Does he work for the Flame? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play at school. Get to work, everyone. Insolence! You will atone, Professor. Destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator. Wait. What's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresvelk, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. <laughs> 